Hey plant gang, standing here in front of Elysium. Now, I'm, not, I'm just gonna say Elysium species because a lot of the ones you'll find on the market are hybrids, but there are a lot of great species of Elysium that are adaptable to a variety of situations. And so I really, my heart would be that you know an Elysium when you see it. Uh, and one thing that you, that really stands true of Elysium is if you crush the leaves, it gives you an anise type smell. Elysium uh, has a distinct fragrance, smells a little bit like black licorice. So crush the leaves so you know what you're talking about and you can, that'll help you identify it. Now you can see the newish foliage is upswept, lighter backs, darker fronts, very uh, entire leaves typically. What does entire mean? It means that they're smooth on the edges. Now I'm kind of standing here in a swampy situation and this Elysium is very happy on the edges of a swale and kind of this swampy situations, but it can be adapt more adaptable. Typically we plant Elysium in partial shade, but with adequate moisture, you can move different Elysiums into more sun. So Elysium, uh, know it when you see it. In flower right now, kind of uh, indescript flowers uh, that are little tiny droops that come off the side there, uh, but uh, a plant that's kind of a globular shrub, a rounded shrub, and one that has a place in the home landscape. So Elysium, alternate simple evergreen to partially evergreen foliage, uh, very smooth edged leaves, height typically six to eight foot high, can be pyramidal, can be rounded uh, depending on its situation. You can cut this back and rejuvenate it. Uh, there are gold or chartreuse uh, leaf varieties of this plant, variegated uh, varieties of this uh, that actually change a little bit of color during the winter months. Hardy from zone seven through nine, not a lot of problems with diseases and insects. And here's a landscape tip. Great sh shade tolerant flowering evergreen plant to be used in shrub borders in moist corners of the landscape. 